This video will show you the interview user interface, including the main display, system menu, device menu, and other user interface elements as seen by the normal, non-administrator user. Other videos will cover the additional functions that can be performed by an administrator. First, let's understand the main display. When interview is first installed, there will only be one box representing the interview host computer named Scanner. When interview has been configured with one interview network and devices have been discovered, you may see a display like this. When you have defined more than one interview network, each interview network will radiate out from the central scanner with a line leading to the top parent of each one of those networks. In this case, we have five interview networks defined. For this video, let's look at a situation having only a single interview network. Notice the red text at the top. Display data is not current tells you the network is not currently being scanned for changes. This is the case here as I have restored a previously saved database and the colors and positions may not be current. The first thing to understand is basic navigation. Interview displays every device in one single graphic. I am first going to cover what you can do by clicking the mouse in the main display. When you hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse, all the nodes in the display move. You can click anywhere in the display and all of the devices will move. This is called a hyperbolic tree display. The view is like stretching your network around a globe. The area of the network you are looking at is at the center of the globe and you are very close to the globe's surface. The nodes in the center are given more display space while the nodes at the edge are given less until at the edge they seem to disappear. In interview, each box represents a device connected by Ethernet. The lines connecting the boxes represent Ethernet physical cable connections. The devices in the middle will be switches, routers, and wireless access points, while the devices at the edges may be PCs, PLCs, IP cameras, motors, barcode scanners, DVRs, or any other device having an Ethernet connection. There are two main menus in Interview that give you access to tools and capabilities. The first is the System menu. It is accessed by a right click on the background of the Interview screen. We will cover these features in a few minutes. The second menu is the Device menu. It is accessed by right clicking on the device. We will also cover these features shortly. Another click you can make an interview is directly on a connecting line. A right click on a connecting line brings up the threshold dialog. The threshold dialog presents a history in detail of what's happened on that connection and is covered in a separate video. The last notable click you can make is to hold down the Alt key while you click the left mouse button. A circle will appear and as you move the mouse with the Alt key held down, you can control the distance between the nodes in interview. Let's look at the system menu. I right click on the background. The first six items allow you to change between the different views of interview. We were in the IP view. Now we will go to the device view where you can see device names. The location view gives information about where devices are located. And then there are three 
device views that are defined by the user. In this case, the functional view, a serial asset view, and a diagnostics view. So the serial asset view shows you what the serial numbers are as well as the asset tags. This has been defined by the user in this case. I'm going back to device view and bringing up the system menu again we can show icons and show thumbnails I'm going to click on show icons and then I'm also going to click on show thumbnails and I'm going to move the distance back out again so I'm going to hold down the alt key hold down the left mouse button and give a little bit more space between these devices to fit the graphics. Also on the system menu you can log in as the administrator. You can access the event log and this brings up the event log for the whole system and if you click on show filters you can have access to more information to help you get data about the devices in your network. You can search for devices. We have a good video which covers searching for devices in your network, but basically you can search by IP, MAC, or by name of a device. You can also click on the About box to get information about the version of Interview that's currently running. You can access our help. Here's the help table of contents. You can also look at the README file, which gives information about differences in versions. Some future enhancements, upgrade notes, and errata. There are six components to each node. First, there is a text field with a name in the center. This name changes with each of the six views. Also, on a view basis, the image that's displayed and the icon also changes. Here we're in the location view, and this is showing you where this particular device is in the control room. If we go back to a device view, the graphic changes back to a picture of the device. Next, there is a fill color for a device. In this case, the device has a fill color of blue, meaning the device is admin verified. If the fill color was tan, it would mean the device was newly discovered and has not been admin verified or it could possibly mean the device has been moved from an admin verified location. There is also an outline color for a node. Here the outline color is green. Here it's white. And in some cases the outline color could be red. This indicates the SNMP status of the device. To the left of each node's text, there's room for an icon. An icon is a small graphic, the same size as the node, which gives some information about the device. And beneath each node, there can be an image which gives information to the user about that device in that particular view. 
These images are largest when in the center of the screen, and as the device is moved toward the edge of the screen, that device becomes smaller, while the ones that move toward the center of the screen become larger. Within the box, you will see a small plus or a minus. Clicking on this when it's a minus will collapse the nodes, and clicking on the plus will expand the nodes back out again. I'm going to hide the thumbnails. Notice when I hover over a device, additional text appears. Two configured view names can be configured as the hover text. The default is its IP and device name. So even though I'm in the device view, I can tell this Cisco switch is the 10.11.244. Another feature of interview is the hover text on a line. When you hover on a line, you see the IP addresses. In this case, 10.11.244 with a colon 2 means that's port 2 from the 244 switch. And 10114 on port 1. When you right click on a device, you will get the device menu. The device menu has an event log item. When you click on this, you will see events filtered just for this one particular device. There is a threshold graph item. When you click on the threshold graphs, you will get a graph for all of the devices attached to that particular device. The first comes up and it shows you the devices directly connected to it. And if I click the All button, it will show me all devices below that device. The SNMP data item will bring up a window that will show you some SNMP data for that device. And there's a way in interview to configure additional SNMP data to be displayed or even made available through Modbus TCP. The properties item shows you the properties for a device. In this case, we can see the MAC address, the IP address, and each one of the view names all in one graphic. We can also see that there's been web links assigned. There's two web links for each view. Through the properties dialog, you can see all of the web links that have been configured for a device. And if you click on one of them, you'll actually pop that page. In this case, we're logging into a Hirschman rail switch. And in the device menu, in a view, you can see web links for that view. If I change to the IP view, the web links will change according to the view. This completes a quick overview of Interview's user interface elements. There are videos which cover specific areas such as event log, searching, or admin functions in more detail.